Hey everyone, so I've talked before about customizing or adjusting text labels in Articulate Storyline and so today what I want to do is I want to talk about something that is often overlooked when it comes to uh, translating an Articulate Storyline project. So if you don't know, you can create um, translations by like exporting to XLIF or Word, having it translated, and then importing the translated file. And I can show you that a little later on. But one of the things that often gets overlooked is the text labels. And what I mean by the text labels, so first we'll go into player, because we're going to have to go into the player properties to adjust these. So <clears throat> what I mean when I say uh, adjusting the text labels for translation is the uh, menu and resources and if you're using the classic player the here let's just turn the classic player on because that might be easier to illustrate the previous and next buttons so where you can adjust those is in the text labels and so you can change these uh, to anything you want and you can just click in and edit the text labels here now these would be uh, also your prompts. So if uh, a user exits the, the storyline uh, project and they come back in and it gives them that prompt, do you want to resume or yes or no? So that's something that uh, is also captured in these text labels. Now with translation, something that's often overlooked is adjusting the text labels for the player. Um, up at the top here, you can see that there's languages with the drop down, and all you have to do to adjust the text label is drop down and select the language that you are looking for. So, say we're looking at, I don't know, finish. You just click that, and then you'll see in the uh, the preview, you'll see the um, labels adjust, and you'll see down in the custom text column, all of the labels have swapped finish. So that's all you really have to do to um, change the text labels to the target language when you're working with translations. Now it's pretty, we have quite a few uh, languages that are built in. There are some that are not built in and uh, what you could do is you could either load a language or you can go in and hard, uh, hard code the custom text. So those are a couple of things to keep in mind when you're working with translations.